What's going on, Cancer? This is your girl, Monica Mystical, and this is going to be the weekly tarot reading for the Cancer Zodiac Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I had to check on my cards. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 30th until July 7th. Now, check your birth chart because you are not just your sun sign. This reading might resonate more than your sun sign reading. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Father God, please show me. The Palo Santo, it was burning. Okay. God, God, please show me what is going on for the Cancer Zodiac June 30th until July 7th. Please show me what's going on with the Cancer Zodiac from June 30th until July 7th. Get that in there. What's going on with the Cancer Zodiac from June 30th until July 7th? Just flying out, girl. Okay. This loud, ain't it? Okay. That was a little loud for me, girl. It's a little loud. Damn. What's going on with the cancer that we had from June 30th until July 7th? Four Pentacles, holding on to your money tightly and discreetly. That's what I just heard. So you probably giving off the effect, all right? I ain't got it, girl. I'm broke. Don't bother me. You got it. Um, <laughs> sometimes you gotta be like that though. Like, I feel like you probably um, you probably just uh, you're sticking to your budget for right now when it comes to your finances. I always see with this car. I gotta get a new tarot deck. Um. So you see uh, with this car, you see her holding on tightly to them pinnacles, but you see all that all that money she got down there. Savings account is booming, okay? But this is somebody who is sticking, they sticking to their budget. Okay, this is somebody who's sticking to their budget. They're not going, they're not spending more than what they need to, all right? Because that's what you do. That's what you do. Okay. What's going on with the Cancer Zodiac from June 30th until July 7th? Taurus energy as well. What's going on with the Cancer Zodiac from June 30th until July 7th? Knight of Swords. That had flew out when all my cards had did that, so it wanted to come out. So, the Knight of Swords. Let me get the seal. Okay. So, what do you say? Starts. Hold on. Okay, girl. Whenever I got Fabuloso boiling on the stove, we need to keep an eye on that. Cause anybody who knows, whenever it gets low, it starts to stick to the pot. Okay. So, you had the Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. So somebody. If this isn't like sticking to a budget, somebody is sticking to keeping what they already have. Like they kind of just like, nope, nope, I'm not moving. I'm going to just stay here. And they holding on to it fairly tightly. So with the Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, it's somebody, you can't tell them nothing. Kanye West. Um, if somebody wants to stay where they at, they're not really trying to move. Um, okay. And the Four of Pentacles came out too. It'd be different if it was switched. Where it was, um, well, no, no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. Yes, it would, because the Knight of Swords would be uh, the energy of somebody trying to get out of something because they're trying to keep something to themselves. Um, they want to hold on tightly to that. But somebody, the Knight of Swords is going into the Four of Pentacles. So somebody, um, somebody might be, um, like, no, I'm not spending this money. I'm not putting this money nowhere else. This is what I had it for. This is where it stays. Good relationship to have with your money. Hold on to it tightly, like Mr. Krabs. What's going on with the Cancer Zodiac from June 30th until July 7th? Now, Mr. Krabs was a little, he was a little extreme. Okay, he was a little extreme. Because he didn't spend money nowhere. He just liked to have money. Don't be like Mr. Krabs. Erase what I just said before. What's going on with the Cancer Zodiac from June 30th until July 7th? Four Wands. Okay, so this is... Bills time. So, 
four of wands i always see that um the first thing that comes to my mind is an apartment because as you can see she probably in her own part of the forest and this motherfucker is coming up to her and you know i always notice the horse is side eyeing the man like bitch don't roll up on me like that but somebody is on um, when it comes to bills in the month of probably in the month of july like for the first week because you know a lot of bills be due during the first week of the month first week of the month middle of the month end of the month that's how the bills work right so during this first week probably um you're going to be very cautious on where you put your money at you're paying your bills um putting whatever it is you need to in your house or your apartment you only buying the necessities okay and i feel like you're kind of um it's kind of like you're going into war whenever it comes to this like no we do not break the brigade brigade i was trying to have a little bit of accent with it that did not work out um but yeah you, you're sticking you're, you're um sticking to the budget that you had laid out you probably created some sort of budget or some sort of money plan in the month of june you was like listen when july hit that's where my money goes i'm not deviating from the plan you gotta tell you th- yourself that from time to time don't deviate from the plan what's going on with the cancer zodiac yeah, from june 30th until july 7th What's going on with Cancer Zodiac yeah, from June 30th until July 7th? I don't like it when it's just quiet. Like, my fucking music. Just it's doing stupid shit. Like, what's going on with the Cancer Zodiac yeah, from June 30th until July 7th? The Moon Card. So, this is a. This is cancer energy as well. Cancer Pisces. I consider it cancer because it got pulled in the cancer reading. And the moon is here. Um, For the mystics out there. Okay. For the spiritual people out there. You might have did something during the last uh, moon phase. Which would be the last new moon. You probably did something during that time. To where you seeing it uh, come like manifest maybe you did some sort of manifestation type spell ritual whatever you want to call it you did something back then and now you're seeing it manifest before your very eyes you like i really did the damn thing when it came to manifesting that shit okay also you might be having some reoccurring dreams what is this about what are these reoccurring dreams about there's, you keep having these reoccurring dreams of where something in your dreams is telling you to be on the lookout for something. Something is telling you to beware. Something is telling you to be on the lookout for something, beware. Your dreams are telling you to be on the... You no, know, be safe out here, okay? But th- there's been something there's been something that you've been dreaming about to where there's a warning. There's some sort of warning, and you, you really need to pay attention to this. You need to pay attention to this. Okay. What's going on with the Cancer Zodiac from June 30th until July 7th? What's going on with the Cancer Zodiac from June 30th until July 7th? What's going on with the Cancer Zodiac when it comes? What's going on with the Cancer Zodiac from June 30th until July 7th? Hmm. You got two different players right here. Okay. So you got the Queen of Swords and you got the Knight of Swords. So let me see. Libra, Cancer, Taurus, um, and Aquarius. A lot of air energy in here okay so you got the queen of swords now the queen of swords and the knight of swords go hand in hand they kind of like pairs so okay let's split them up 
So with the Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, you are a Knight of Swords whenever it comes to your money. So you are somebody who can't, you know, be easily moved. The Knight of Swords is just whenever I want to take action, I'm going to take action. All right. So this Four of Pentacles, I really feel like you probably sticking to your budget whenever it comes to your monies. All right. You're not really spending nothing extra. Okay. And I feel like a lot of it might be going into your home or your apartment, or you were just making sure that your house is taken care of, including the bills, okay? Now, over here with the moon card and the queen of swords, we got Cancer, Pisces, and Libra over here. So, I feel like somebody is um, dual. They have a dual energy to them. So, um, this is somebody who's very logical, very analytical, um, very rational, air energy, you know. But, they got a side to them that they don't really show people, that they don't really uh, reveal to people. And I feel like it's probably on that spiritual side. When I say this manifestation, you know, this is something that you don't reveal to people. Like, people might see you as this. People see you as the queen of swords, somebody who's smart, somebody who knows what they're doing, somebody who knows how to move and shake, okay? <laughs> people don't really know. <laughs> you really be out here... Mixing and mingling with the herbs and the spices and the, and the crystals and the candles and all that, okay? You know, you don't really show that side to people. But you're probably getting more on game whenever it comes to your spiritual side. I feel like you're probably accessing different parts of you that you didn't even really know that was there whenever it came to being spiritual. Um, and also with that warning that you're getting in your dreams with the Queen of Swords here... I feel like this is something that you're going to start to analyze. Like, you're going to start to try to, you know, put the pieces together, I'm hearing. Like, why the fuck do I keep having this dream? Like, why the fuck do I keep having this warning? Usually, okay, if you believe in the sight, usually when that happens, whatever the dream is warning you of is about to come in your face, okay? Can't put a, a, a good day on it, all right? You can't put a day on it, but like a date. But there's something that I feel like you're probably keeping it to yourself. You're probably keeping it a secret, and it probably isn't time for it to be revealed right now. Shit, it might be revealed around the full moon. You might figure out what this dream really means, or this you might see this uh see what they've been trying to warn you about. They what they've been trying to warn you about when the full moon comes. Okay. Okay, but this is somebody being fairly strategic um, whenever it comes to things. Like, I feel like you probably got to be two different types of energies. Um, you probably got to be two different types of energies whenever it comes to your money and whenever it comes to your spirituality. When it comes to your money, you are somebody who, like, in and out, in and out. Like, you don't you don't really discuss your finances with people. Uh, what is for your eyes only, J. Cole, Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You operate on two different uh energies whenever you're dealing with the physical shit and the spiritual shit. Don't let them know. They'll find out. All right. That was y'all weekly reading cancer for June 30th until July 7th. Please subscribe to the channel, like, share, comment this video. All right. And you can follow me on Instagram, Monique with a Mystic. You can also DM me. DM me. Why do I have such a hard time saying that? It's because my tongue is too big for my mouth. You will also DM me on there if you would like a personal tarot reading. All right? Now I got to run to the spiritual store. Give me some candles. <laughs> Bye.